There's a level of application that's really sophisticated. I think he's really beautiful and skillful. It's clear that this is extraordinary. I love the colours. I think you know, quite brave to use those colours. The expertise that we uh, for that age group is quite amazing. It's beautiful. It's a lot of intense colours of it. Art Bites is a national program for primary, secondary, and SEN schools, combining an inter-school art competition with a bespoke virtual gallery. It's based on 11 years' experience in the Northwest, where we've worked with over 10,000 young people, and is proven to nurture talents, raise ambition, and develop confidence, as well as support mental health and help develop vital skills for future employment. The competition's open to all primary year five, secondary year nine, and SEN schools across England. It aims to give young participants the opportunity to see their art exhibited online and to engage with new technology from the safety and convenience of their own home or school. It builds confidence and nurtures talent, allows children and young people to see galleries as places for them and encourages future cultural engagement. After a shortlisting panel and an online public vote, the winning artist from each school sees their work displayed in our virtual gallery. We're delighted to be working with a high-profile cultural venue in each of the nine regions of England to deliver Art Bites. As well as lending their expertise in arts education, each is hosting a prize-giving event where this film will be first shown. The event is also available for schools to live stream in the classroom or watch back in assembly. Before the doors of the virtual gallery officially opened, we'll be announcing the regional and national winners for each age group. Then certificates and prizes will be awarded in person at each venue. Our partners are Northwest, the Whitworth Art Gallery, Manchester, Northeast, the Biscuit Factory, Newcastle, Yorkshire and Humber, Leeds Art Gallery, East Midlands, Derby Quad, West Midlands, New Art Gallery Walsall, South West, the Royal West of England Academy, Bristol, South East, Watts Gallery, East of England, Wising Art Centre, London, Chisholm Gallery. This is the second year we've run Art Bites, and we're delighted to have worked with almost 200 schools from across the nation so far. Let's hear from some of the team about why this is so important. Hi, I'm Lucy Byrne. I'm the Managing Director of Dot Art, which is the organisation behind Art Bites. My name is Marlene Wiley. I am a Creative Education Consultant. Hi, I'm Tony Heaton. I'm a sculptor. My name is Paul Carney. I'm an Art Education Consultant from Newcastle upon Tyne. We've been running a, a similar programme in our local region, the Liverpool City region, for the past 10 years now. And we've seen amazing impacts with that programme. We've worked with almost 9,000 children now over the past 10 years and young people and seen the uh, improvement of their confidence, um, their skill level, their mental health. So we really wanted to take what had worked in our local region and make it a national programme. Well, I think art, art education is vital, really. And I'm sort of conscious of the fact that uh, I think the creative industry has turned something like um, 116 billion pounds into the economy every year, and it's worth about six percent of the income generated by this country. So I think creativity should be encouraged uh, at all levels. You know, creativity is vital for all of us, and particularly vital for young people as they're developing, developing their imaginations as well. Art education and creative subjects in general give young people a voice. Art education in schools is, is absolutely vital. It's something I feel very passionate about and this is the reason we started all our schools work. Um, the arts have been uh, systematically removed from the curriculum in our schools for a very long time now and it's had a very bad impact on many levels of students' um, education. Um, apart from the fact that it's a lovely thing to be able to do throughout your life, it can have an amazing impact on your uh, mental well-being and mental health. But also it's incredibly important for future skills for jobs. Um, we talk about the creative industries being the fastest growing industry in this country and yet we're not teaching children to be creative in schools. The chance for young people to formulate their thoughts and opinions about the world around them is really important and that's what art does. This sort of programme 
gives schools an opportunity to allow their students to showcase what it is that they do and what they can do well or what it is that they enjoy. It's not always about what you can do well. So if you're just enjoying what you're doing, I think that's equally important. So I think the work of Art Bites completely complements um, our desire to want to raise um, awareness of what, how important art is um, for, for schools and for young people. Being able to capture how you feel is really important and being able to express yourself in that way, maybe in a way that you can't find the words to express, then being able to do it visually, graphically, I think is really important. What feels really very unique is that they are able to connect with such a wide variety of different sorts of schools. I think that their reach is, is really very wide, but also that they encompass, uh, encompass so many uh, different types of, of educational establishments. I think that's really very important and unique. It brings a lot of kudos and, um, and prestige to uh, schools' art and it elevates and raises the profile and visibility of arts in schools, which is always a good thing, I think. We have a three-stage uh, judging and selection process for Art Bites. Uh, initially, we have a selection panel made up of really respected arts professionals from across the country who select their top three pieces from each school. So once we have those three um, shortlisted pieces from each school, we open the vote up for a whole month to anyone um, across the country and across the world to vote online for their favourite piece. This then leaves us with one winning piece from each school, which then is guaranteed to go into our virtual gallery space. Uh, and be online uh, in that exhibition. We then have a very intensive judging process with our four judges, whereby they get to choose the regional winner for each region and the national winners as well. Now, this is a completely anonymized process. They just see the images on a screen um, and we go through and have a really, um, really interesting and um, in-depth conversation about which works um, the judges think have the most potential, have the most skill, and are most interesting as pieces of art. And we had some fantastic comments from the judges, um, which you'll be hearing about later. One thing you try to look for is people that come up with originality, that have original ideas, they think in different ways. It brought back memories um, for me of my own um, experience of entering art competitions. There was a lot to get through, but also wanting to take time with each piece and, and sit with each piece. You're looking for something that's fresh and new and brave and exciting and interesting. So as I was looking through a lot of the pieces, I thought, you know, what is this child, you know, thinking and feeling about this process? What does it mean for them? because I know how much it meant to me. And so there was a real sense of treating and looking at each piece with real, with compassion. I think not being constrained by, uh, uh, by what we think is right or wrong. And it is that wonderful uh, freedom that you can express yourself when you're young that actually you find it harder and harder to do as you get older because you, you're slightly worried about what other people might think of your drawings rather than just to just to draw really, draw freely. So uh, yeah, so I would encourage I would encourage young, young children to just get stuck in and draw and see what comes out, enjoy the creativity of it, the exploration of it. Our first award is the Community Engagement Prize for Art Bites 2023. This new award recognises a school that has gone above and beyond in encouraging pupils, staff, families and friends to vote for their favourite artwork and had the most votes cast for their school. The award goes to Mangotsfield School in the South West. And now to announce our regional winners for Art Bites 2023, Northwest. Primary winner, Kerry's Self-Portrait by Kerry's Priestley from Greenside Primary School. Secondary winner, Dream by Ella Rose Taylor Dolan 
from Manchester Hospital School. Northeast, primary winner Rainbow Time by Seb Sabin from Newminster Middle School. Secondary winner Cultural Portrait by Maggie Liu from Royal Grammar School, Newcastle. Yorkshire, primary winner Abandoned Building by Isaac from Craig Church of England VC Primary School. Secondary winner Untitled Three by Daisy Mills Whitaker from Lawnswood School. East Midlands, primary winner Self-Portrait by PG from Oakwood Junior School. West Midlands, primary winner The Mad Forest by James Loch from Priors Lee Academy. Secondary winner Ice Cream by Archie from James Brindley Academy. Southwest, primary winner The Eagle by Rosa Burnett from Hillcrest Primary. Secondary winner Casey Ometti by Casey Blacklock from Mangotsfield School. Southeast, Primary winner, Mixed Media Scenery 3 by C from Orchard Meadow Primary School. Secondary winner, Rainbow Giraffe by Esme Stewart from John Mason School. East of England, primary winner, Contrasting Hills and Mountain, Jessica borthwick Mayet from Scott Primary School. Secondary winner, David Attenborough by Neve Woolman from Coleridge Community College. London, primary winner, Florence's Patch by Florence Wood from Daubeny Primary School. Secondary winner, Pepper Study by BS from Southbank International School. And now to announce our national winners for Art Bites 2023. First, the Year 5 category. First runner-up goes to... <laughs> Abandoned Building by Isaac from Craig Churchilling and VC Primary School, Yorkshire Region. The judges said, very evocative and atmospheric, hints of surveillance holding back even perhaps a haunted house, the mystery of what is going on in the building, sophisticated composition and texture. Second runner-up goes to... <laughs> Keris's Self-Portrait by Keris Priestley from Greenside Primary School, Northwest Region. The judges said, Incredibly sophisticated brushwork, composition and draftsmanship. This painting shows maturity and technical skill way beyond her years. The subject has a beautiful, wistful look and wonderfully messy hair like she's had a long day at school. Astonishingly good. Now to find out who won the primary category, we're going to visit a school somewhere in England. So the reason why you're here today is because you have won the National Primary Art Bites competition. I thought I was just the Newminster winner and thought we were doing this all over Northumberland. <laughs> I didn't know I was the national. Amazing, I feel amazing, I'm just shocked. I did a picture of the Tyne Bridge. I like Newcastle. It's a great city. It is quite a recognisable part. And it also has a couple other monuments there. All the colours sort of blended it in together. Made it look quite special. I needed to make a stencil. So after I had the stencil, I rolled some black paint. I don't know if it was ink or was it paint. So then I covered the stencil over it again and then I drew over it and add some colour. And so it was well, a monoprint wasn't yeah, it? Yeah it was monoprint. It was a bit frustrating because I couldn't really get it right but then uh, it was quite fun because when you make mistakes you just have to keep on going. It's just fun because it inspires me, it makes my imagination flourish and even when I'm down it'll get me back up again. Well, we are absolutely delighted here at Newminster that Seb has won this. This has given the opportunity for the whole of our Year 5 to create a piece of artwork that has the potential to be um, viewed by lots of people. Um, art is so important for the pupils' health and well-being. Um, it gives them confidence. It um, inspires creativity. It's a really important part of our school. Not only does it give them a chance to um, be creative, but also a chance to um, 
to show their artwork to the world, which is lovely. I absolutely love Seb's Rainbow Tide. Um, I think what I love the most about the artwork is the contrast between the black and white image and then this beautiful rainbow sort of like tine. Um, I think it, it's so happy. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So well done, Seb. Congratulations, Seb Sabin from Newminster Middle School in the Northeast, who won with his piece, Rainbow Time. The judges said, I would love to have this on my wall. It's an absolute standout piece. Well resolved, confident Mark Makey. Now the year nine category. First runner up goes to David Attenborough by Neve Wallman from Coleridge Community College, East Region. The judges said, just a beautiful drawing, absolutely gorgeous. A sensitivity and expertise that's quite amazing for the age group. Better than a lot of professional artists' drawings in many ways. It really captures the subject. Second runner-up goes to... Dream by Ella Rose Taylor Delwyn from Manchester Hospital School, Northwest Region. The judges said, dual light -like colours and skillful use of the batik technique. I love the colours and the shapes. It really sings. Now to find out who won the secondary category, we're going on another school visit. Well, Maggie, you're in the presence of your lovely painting and we have some really good news for you that you've actually won the competition. So, how does that feel? I'm really shocked. It has given me such a boost of happiness and motivation to continue what I'm doing and learn from others. I'm definitely going to tell my mum and dad. Yeah. I think they would be really proud and I'm going to tell my friends because they've always been there to support me. So my chosen theme for the project was ginger hair. I chose this because I find ginger hair so fascinating. I think the story is the most important part of it. But I also enjoy the painting process because everyone has a different approach to it and everyone sees it differently. So the background was in acrylic paint and I put a layer of oil paint on top of it. And the face was in acrylic, but the prints of the lace was made with white acrylic paint. And I decided to add a mixed media. So I chose Egyptian cloth because it represented where the girl came from. So I really like the Egyptian cloth. So I took the colors out of them and made them stronger. And I, so I took the shapes and emphasized it in the background to reflect it. I do really like art and I think I want to explore different areas of art, um, especially into painting and fashion. Art Fight has given me such a great opportunity to express my ideas. Oh, extremely proud. Yes, um, it's been lovely having this painting around the room. Everybody's astonished when they look at it. I think it means lots of things to different people. Um, people certainly look at it more than once, so they might be looking at it for trying to work out what the character is thinking. And all of the mixed media around and the background just make you really um, enjoy the warp and weft, really, of clothing and of, you were talking about fashion earlier, I think, it's a really, really important competition. And the fact that it's a national one as well draws everyone together. National champion, well done. National artist. Congratulations, Maggie, from Royal Grammar School, Newcastle, in the Northeast region, who won with her piece, Cultural Portrait. The judges said, very impactful, beautifully executed, a standard portrait, Love the textures and patterns on the periphery. 
It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. To be able to do that at that age is just phenomenal. Huge congratulations to all our winners and to every single student who submitted a piece of work. You should be very proud. Thank you to all the teachers who encouraged their students to create such fantastic artworks and joined us in our second year of Art Bites. A big thank you to all our venue partners. And if you haven't made it to your nearest gallery yet, please do go and visit. They'll make you very welcome. That's it from us. We hope you'll join us again next year to celebrate the amazing artistic talent of the next generation of artists and creatives.